The health and safety of workers at the complex does not seem to be a priority for the government at the moment. The views of President of the Public Workers Union, Rachel Roberts, as workers have been complaining of being sick due to poor ventilation at the ministerial complex. Roberts says oftentimes they complain about the temperature in which they have to function. The union met with the government last Thursday to discuss the best way forward to deal with the issue. And they have indicated and give us the assurance that they would look urgently into these matters. As we know, we have a ministerial complex that we have been saying over the years is a sick building, and that has not changed. However, it seems to us that our government, our, our employer, is more serious now to address the issues because our members are falling sick. And health, we value health and we put serious importance on the health of a worker because the health of a worker is the economic viability of a worker. Government promises the union will see the implementation of the agreement from last meeting. According to Robert, this means they will look into the cleaning of the AC unit and the removal of the carpet, which she believes is a contributing factor to workers being ill on a regular basis. Because the carpets have not been changed since the inception of the building. Since the building was built, these carpets were placed there and have not been removed. So what we are talking about, they are all, they are now embedded in the, in the ground, in the floor of the, of the concrete, in the concrete flooring of the building. And that is not healthy for our staff, for our members. We are also speaking about areas where we see rodents, where we want to believe there are rodents in the air condition units. And this is one of the matters they said they would also address. Meanwhile, according to Dr. Terence Marichaud, a medical practitioner, poor indoor air quality can lead to employees suffering from headaches, fatigue, hypersensitivity and allergies, sinus, congestion, dizziness, shortness of breath and coughing and nausea. The medical practitioner also says cases of extreme temperatures in the office causes fatigue, discomfort and distraction and can increase accidents in the workplace. Marisho says it is important to always be in a properly ventilated area. Air quality is something that, that you want, you know, good air quality is something that you want to maintain in your environment all the time because of the obvious risk that it poses for, for people um, in general. Poor ventilation can also lead to other ailments, which are even more detrimental. For GBN News, I am Rachel Bean.